news about Roller Coaster Tycoon, and the Atari 50 game list may have unofficially leaked in the Netherlands. Stay tuned for that and more on Atari Newsline. Welcome back to Atari Newsline. So there have been a couple of stories um, since I last did one of these, which is not that long ago, but um, a couple of stories dropped um, past couple of days and I just wanted to um, inform everyone about those. So the first article uh, comes from, uh, well, Atari themselves. Um, this came out on October 7th, yesterday as of this recording. <clears throat> Uh, it says, uh, well, it's on global, sorry, globenewswire.com. <clears throat> and it is a press release put out by Atari. It says, Atari announces 10 year license extension for Roller Coaster Tycoon. Atari will develop new titles and explore brand and merchandising collaborations as part of a long term plan to bring the franchise to new heights. And uh, it says here, Atari, one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers, announced today a 10-year license extension for Roller Coaster Tycoon with the franchise's creator, Chris Sawyer. Under the agreement, Atari will seek to develop new titles, expand digital and physical distribution, and explore brand and merchandising collaborations as part of a long-term plan to bring the franchise to new heights. The original Roller Coaster Tycoon title was released for PC in 1999. Over the next two plus decades, the park and ride building and management simulator would expand onto consoles, mobile devices, and into virtual reality. Atari announced the company's intent to renew the license in the fiscal year 2022 annual results, released on July 27, 2022. And uh, that is from Globe Newswire. That's one of Atari's own um, press releases that, that was published. Um, so uh, the next story I just want to inform everyone about is I first saw it on Nintendo Life, which is a site that I've been a part of for many years now, at least 15 years or more. Um, my name on there is Grumble, G-R-U-M-B-L-E, <laughs> if you're interested in adding me. Uh, but this uh, this news came up um, on Saturday, October 8th at 9 p.m. It says, Retailer Leak may have revealed full list of games in Atari's anniversary collection. This is by Liam Doolin. And I actually commented in here and said this list came out recently. Um, well, part, mostly on in that Forbes article, I believe it was, that I read. I think it was Forbes. I could be wrong. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read this here. Um, it's, it's very similar to that article. It says, Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, is meant to be arriving at some point before the end of this year on Nintendo Switch. If you have been wondering what games will be included in this upcoming release by Digital Eclipse, you just might be in luck. A retailer located in the Netherlands may have potentially revealed the full list of games that will be included in the anniversary celebration. As previously revealed, this collection will have over 90 games spanning multiple generations, including the Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, ST, Jaguar, and Lynx. The retailer leak suggests there will be more than 100. Sorry, the retailer leak suggests there will be more than 100 playable games. Here's what's included on this page listing via Nintendo Everything. And we have Atari Arcade. We have Aka R. Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow, Breakout, Centipede, Cloak and Dagger, which I'm not sure if we saw that. That might be new there. That's awesome if that's true. Uh, Crystal Castles, Fire Truck, Food Fight, Gravatar, iRobot, Liberator, Lunar Lander, Major Havoc, Maze Invaders, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Quantum, Space Duel, Sprint 8, Super Breakout, Tempest, and Warlords. <clears throat> For Atari Reimagined, we have Haunted House, Neo Breakout, Quadra Tank, Sword Quest, Airworld, Vector Sector, Yara's Revenge, Enhanced. 
For the Atari 800 computer, we have Bounty Bob Strikes Back, Caverns of Mars, Food Fight, and Miner 2049er. For the Atari 2600, we probably have the biggest list here. It's a 3D tic-tac-toe, adventure, air-sea battle, asteroids, basic math, breakout, canyon bomber, centipede, combat, combat 2, crystal castles, dark chambers, demons to diamonds, dodge fatal run, gravitar, haunted house, millipede, minor 2049er, missile command, outlaw, quadrun, race 500, and for the real sports series, we have baseball, basketball, boxing, football, soccer, and tennis, and volleyball. We have Saboteur, Secret Quest, Solera, Super Breakout, Surround. We have Sword Quest, Earthworld, Fireworld, and Waterworld, Warlords, and Yars Revenge. For the Atari 5200, we have Bounty Bob Strikes Back. That's the second version. I think the last article talked about that. And we have Millipede, Missile Command, Star Raiders, and Enhanced Version, Super Breakout. For the Atari 7800, we have Asteroids, Basket Brawl, Centipede, Dart Chambers, Fatal Run, Ninja Golf, and Scrapyard Dog. For the Atari handheld category, we have the Touch Me game, which is kind of like Simon says. I actually have one of those. Uh, a lot smaller. Uh, for the Atari Jaguar, we have Atari Karts, Club Drive, Cybermorph, Evolution Dino Dudes, Fight for Life, Missile Command 3D. Ruiner, Pinball, Tempest 2000, and Trevor McFur in the Crescent Galaxy. And finally, for the Atari Lynx, we have Basket Brawl, Malibu Bikini Volleyball, Scrapyard Dog, Super Asteroids and Missile Command, Turbo Sub, and Warbirds. Assuming this list is the real deal, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. So yeah, um, that was the article there, guys. Um... I'm interested to know your thoughts, um, if there's anything new in there that sticks out. Um, I don't think we saw Cloak and Dagger before, so that's really kind of a uh, uh, surprise, I guess, if that's true. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think. It was the thing that made video games a worldwide phenomenon, that changed the world, literally changed the world. Hello, y'all. All this inspiration that came from Atari gets to come full circle and see it through this lens. It's the most fun I've ever had, making a game. Adventure really broke the mold for what the 2600 was capable of. In the beginning, there was only Atari, and the children looked upon it and saw that it was good. I would literally spend the entire weekend playing Star Raiders. Atari created the video game industry, and everybody that's come since then is building on what Atari created. So Atari Mania is also coming out next week, um, here in four days from now. When this airs, I'm so excited. Watch the trailer for Atari Mania at the very end. Uh, it actually does say, 
Atari VCS in the very beginning of the systems that's coming out for. Um, and I think that's, that's pretty big um, because Atari um, has been really lackluster um, in mentioning the Atari VCS console in public and in media. And here we see it on the trailer at the very end, and it's the first console we see. I actually think that's pretty important um, since Atari um, hasn't, hasn't really talked about it that much, and they put it first. Uh, so that's kind of good news. It's coming out on October 13th on the VCS and the Switch, and um, you'll see that at the end of that trailer, and here it is. Leave your feedback below, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you're interested in um, Atari Mania when that comes out. Also, I have uh, uh, Atari cards playing back here. That's also going to be on the 50th collection. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Um, so thank you so much for watching Atari Newsline. Uh, stay tuned for more news. On Monday, I'm going to have Bob DeCrescenzo on that Atari show. Make sure to click that bell so you don't miss out. And um, I will, would love to see you in live chat if you're around. So if not, watch it anyway. Cool trailers. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.